Hey everyone, it's Absol. I haven't been posting much lately because I've been very busy working on two movies. A Scarlet movie with my first playthrough of the game, and dang it, that's Violet. I think this thing's gonna be at least like two hours long. And a Violet movie where I'm doing a badge quest, finding a shiny before all 18 badges. And this pointless shiny hunting video is going to also be part of this. And today's hunt is a very weird, unique instance of something to celebrate. For the first time since Ultra Sun Ultra Moon with the partner cat Pikachu, Game Freak has once again messed up the shiny locking mechanism for a certain Pokemon. And the Pokemon in question are Arvin's partner Pokemon that he uses alongside you in the Titan battles. I'm going to be hunting for his Toad School in the Orthworm fight because Toad School's just a funny little mushroom guy. And thanks to some research by one of the unsung heroes in this community, Anubis, the weird thing was, these Pokémon did appear to be properly shiny locked. So, how did they mess it up, and how are these people finding them shiny? Well, the answer is something that almost defies explanation. While the game does generate a shiny locked version of this partner, Toad School, for some reason the game also generates a display version of this Pokémon that's not shiny locked while the Titan is eating the Herba Mystica. And despite the Toad School taking on the stats of the locked battle one, it takes on the appearance of the not shiny locked display one. Meaning you can just save in front of the second phase of the battle and reset for it like any other shiny. Sometimes when you soft reset, your arm fades out of existence. This thing is completely uncatchable and will not remain shiny in future Arvin battles. It doesn't even sparkle when it's sent out into battle. The more I talk about this hunt, the more pointless it sounds. And I know that. I, I kind of love it for that reason. So here's my little journey taking on one of the most pointless hunts in Scarlet and Violet. Which is one of the few where I can use my kind of crazy multi setup, since the resets for this feel a lot more like an old school traditional shiny hunt. I did the vast majority of this hunt on stream, but this was one of my few offline sessions when I actually got it. On the morning of December 22nd, 2022. Shiny Toad School! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's it! Dude! 6,680, and it just fainted, too! <laughs> no way! Oh, man, I'm gonna have to... Okay, I'm glad I saved the replay. Let's go to the bottom right screen. Hold on. Oh, no way, man. Oh, man. I'm just about to leave home for Christmas this morning, and it's freaking here. Well, it's it's gone now, but I got the replay. That stood out so much. That was a pretty big Toad School, too. Let's look at that. Dude, look at that! <laughs> Let's watch it faint again. Let's salute it. Man. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> I would then finish off the Titan with my own Toad School that's set to evolve at the end of the battle, because I also saw a few other glitches where a sudden second Toad School appears out of thin air. I wanted to see if it would be shiny when Arvin's Toad School was shiny, so here's what happened. Alright, and the Titan goes down. <laughs> Let's see if we see the shiny Toad School when it evolves, because there's a weird way this thing works. It like summons another Toad School out of nowhere upon it evolving at the end of this battle here. It'd be crazy if it showed Arvin's shiny one. I'm not sure if it's a direct copy of mine or if it takes Arvin's model for this. Okay, it looks like it's a direct copy of mine. <laughs> So crazy, man. Whose Toad School is that now? <laughs> that was neither of ours. <laughs> Hand over the shinies. That's what I should be uh, threatening Arvin with right now. Alright, let's see if this shiny Toad School shows up on our profile. It does not. Zero shinies battled. I'm pressing up and down. This Toad School never existed. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> I'm free from the worm. <laughs>